Welcome to this week's episode of what we like to call VR Espresso, a condensed version of this week's news. Be sure to join us every Saturday morning for our long form live show called Coffee and VR. This week is going to have a really hard time filling the shoes of last week's massive Quest 2 announcement that took the world by storm. Let's start off with the fact that VR is about to blow up in a major way. I mean, even Carol Basket. Yep, that lady from the Tiger King Netflix series is seen here playing Supernatural on her Oculus Quest. Microsoft this week finally announced VR support for the next Xbox. Oh wait, no, that still has not happened yet. But they did announce that they plan to purchase ZeniMax Media, parent company of Bethesda Games, for a massive $7.5 billion acquisition. Bethesda is the studio behind a lot of massive games such as Skyrim and Fallout 4, which had VR ports, as well as many others. This probably means absolutely nothing for VR support on Xbox, but hey, don't burst my bubble. The opening chapter of Half-Life 2 will soon be playable in VR, thanks to Project 17. That is a mod that's currently in development for the Half-Life Alex game. Frostpoint VR Proving Grounds. The upcoming team-based multiplayer shooter is going into open beta starting next week. You could also get this game for free when it launches. The beta runs September 28th through October 19th, available for download through Steam and the Oculus Store for PC VR headsets. The studio will also be handing out free copies of the retail version of the game to the first 3,000 players who meet a few requirements. These are, players will need to play at least 10 games within a week and also connect their Steam or Oculus accounts to qualify for a code for the retail game when it releases later this year on PC VR headsets. Have you ever been tempted by one of those VR treadmills? Want to increase your VR play space infinitely? Well, there's a new product from Ecto-1, and they say that they have solved VR locomotion. It's a pair of robotic boots that the company claims are capable of keeping you in one spot while you walk forward. On the bottom of the device, there are two rotating plates that can twist to the direction the user is walking. Once they put their foot on the ground, a set of wheels pull your leg back while you walk forward, giving the sensation of walking. These are aimed at enterprise, but the company says it is interested in a consumer application in the future. These look a little too big, awkward, and clunky for me right now, but they could show us a glimpse into the future. Would you buy something like this? Tell me these aren't modeled after the Escort boots from Red Dwarf. Solaris Offworld Combat launches today in what they are calling the online multiplayer VR eSport of the future. This is a fast-paced 4v4 shooter focused on competitive intensity where you'll run, sprint, and slide your way across arenas, picking up weapons and items to eliminate your opponents. Coordinate with your team to defeat your rivals and take over the control point to win the match. They are calling this here the preseason, with a pro season coming at a later date. There will be seasonal updates including new helmets, maps, weapons, and social features. Are you going to be picking this game up? We look forward to seeing you in there. Product manager for the Oculus Quest 2 said that the company is continuing to work on a wireless solution that would let Quest owners access PC VR content from a nearby computer. He states, we still don't see the technology having matured enough to be the same as a wired VR experience, but we are cracking at it. When we can crack that, we can make the wireless be no different than wired and we will get there. I personally truly believe someday we will have an official way to play PC VR games on the Quest wirelessly. And it has been confirmed that Quest 2 has onboard Wi-Fi 6. Oh yes, wireless is happening. In other news, SideQuest is taking $650,000 in early investment from Boost VC, Oculus founder Palmer Lucky, and The Fund. Quote from Palmer Lucky, I am investing in SideQuest because I believe in their vision for the VR development and distribution. Lucky said in a prepared statement, no HMD manufacturer should have a stranglehold on the VR ecosystem or unilateral control over what people run on their VR headsets. And when I look at SideQuest, I see the spirit of Oculus Share. And that's it for this week's episode of VR Espresso. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for us. It means the world. And we really hope to see you in the live chat of the weekend Coffee and VR show. Later, everyone.